Today's video is going to be an unboxing slash review of the Taurus Model 44 revolver. This is a five shot uh, four inch barrel revolver. Actually only three inches because the last inch is uh, compensated. This is going to be my first time shooting this pistol, but it was actually a return. I, I had this pistol and had to send it for warranty. Taurus was really good about the turnaround time, a little over a month to get back, but they weren't able to fix uh, whatever issue was wrong with it, so they replaced it. That's just a side cover, but as you can see, it's a five shot, 44 Magnum, you know, plain black sight, nice uh, fluorescent front sight. And you've got ports on either side of that sight to help reduce recoil. So out of the four inches, it really is only three inch barrel um, that's rifled. This one has a little bit different grip than the one I sent away, but uh, it feels good. I said this will be my first time shooting this and uh, we'll see how it goes. What I brought today is all hand loaded ammunition. I haven't ever bought any 44 Magnum ammunition. I've just loaded for it. This is a 180 grain uh, Hornady XTP. Uh, I don't remember what my load data was, but I, I know it's H110 powder pushing it. This is a Matt's bullet. Um, 250 grain cast lead uh, hollow point. This has a nice big hollow point on it. And I've done a review in a separate video on these bullets. Um, these aren't going super fast, but because of the malleability of the lead, they expand pretty easy at low velocity and you get a nice big fat slug out of it and these are some 240 grain hard cast uh, flat nose bullets um, it was a bulk box generic uh, don't even know who the manufacturer was but these are Pretty much just plinking rounds. I couldn't pass up the price on them on the box, so you know that's what we're gonna do with these. Um, I'm gonna do some shooting. I brought a lead plate, some ballistics gel, and a watermelon. And it's not gonna be too technical today. It's just you know I want to see where this pistol is uh, sight wise from the manufacturer and I want to see if it's reliable I have a lot of Taurus pistols in my collection and I haven't really had any problems with them this one could have been a fluke I don't put any stink on Taurus for that uh, they're, they're not all gems coming off the assembly line I've had issues with a Ruger uh, PC carbine that turned around a few weeks after I sent it in, problem fixed. I had uh, issues with the Caltech pistol, I had issues were fixed. Um, I really n haven't experienced any, any manufacturer that just was complete garbage. So I know a lot of people talk shit about the Taurus because of the price it's affordable for me I actually carry a Taurus uh, G2C sometimes it's accurate it's reliable I haven't had any issues with factory or hand loaded ammunition with it um, I also have a Glock 19 that is just as reliable as the Taurus but a few hundred dollars less so again no stink on Taurus a review of this pistol 
coming back from the manufacturer. Let's see what how it does. So this was the flat-nosed uh, cowboy bullet. As expected, it passed straight on through, but it did a about an inch wide total uh, damage track all the way through. And for a non exploding bullet, I'd say it was pretty impressive. So here is the match bullet, as you can see, or maybe you can see on this side, it uh, started expanding immediately and about six inches worth, two, approximately two inches wide uh, permanent cavity. And it did its cutting all the way out through the back side. Um, Normally I would have a couple of gel blocks to get a longer track and then some water jugs as a, a backing to help catch the bullet. But every time I've shot smaller blocks, this block weighs about 20, 25 pounds. Every time I've shot the smaller blocks, they've flown off the table, landed in the dirt, and it's pretty much a one-shot deal. So I thought I would give this a try. And as expected, the 180 grain Hornady ripped about two and a half inches uh, track onto the gel. It's not really even, there's a better shot of it, but uh, yeah, it, it totally ripped through both tracks that were already there. And upon exit, um, this is the Matt's bullet, this is the cowboy bullet, and this is the, the Hornady, but it's totally ripped through. Not to mention my, my platform, it's all soft and pushed in now from the impact of the gel pushing downward on it. It was firm before, now it's, it's been tenderized. <laughs> 